at the souterrain out the front of the broch, this is a an underground passageway. It dates to after the time when they abandoned the broch and filled it in with rubble. And we're looking down the passageway. Of course, we've got it set up for um, grid samples. So it's been excavated on a control grid. And we're interested in excavating the occupation deposits, the fill and the floor deposits from inside the souterrain. Um, we've come through various sorts of deposits and rubbly um, deposits as well. Hopefully we'll have even more in situ floors underneath it, but already we're getting a very nice view of the architecture of the passageway as it comes in this direction um, and, and turns a right angle turn and runs actually into the Brock entrance. And it meets up with and connects to that Brock entrance. And shortly after the Brock was put out of use, the, the passageway of the Brock was then used as the chamber for this underground passageway. So they took what had been an above ground entrance passage of a building and converted it into the chamber of their souterrain. Now, what they're doing in souterrains is another matter altogether. But one of, one of the key research aims of the project is to try to understand these underground features a little bit better by you know performing new fresh excavation on them and subjecting them to all the rigors of modern archaeological science so we hope over time to be able to say something more meaningful about how at least this particular souterrain was used um, and what role it had in the immediate post-Broch period community.